Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Priceless. Corrupt FBI agent Lisa Page just sold them all out. This changes everything. Former top FBI lawyer Lisa Page spent last Friday and yesterday testifying behind closed doors over her role in the FBI scandal. Sources claim that she is providing shocking intel against her superiors. Representative John Ratcliffe, RTX, says that Page was significantly more cooperative than her one-time colleague and lover, counterintelligence agent Peter Strzok. As I said before, she is a very forthcoming witness, Ratcliffe told reporters after leaving the hearing room. She gave us a lot of new information that we didn't have before. That will lead us to ask for some more people to make some more requests for information we do not yet have. Whispers say she is spilling the beans on yet another bureau-wide cover-up. I guess we'll see. This is part of the House Judiciary Committee and House Oversight and Government Reform Committee hosting a hearing as part of their joint investigation into the Department of Justice, DOJ, and FBI and their probes of Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server and allegations President Trump's 2016 campaign colluded with Russian interests. I think that what they will find out will not only damn the FBI but a number of leftists as well. The committees are trying to determine if Mueller's investigation was legitimate to begin with. Personally, I think it was a setup. Last week, we listened to Peter Strzok, who was number three at the FBI and headed up the Hillary Clinton investigation as well as the Russian collusion investigation. He testified for 12 grueling hours that he was not biased. He lied his head off. There are in excess of 50,000 texts, etc. that prove the exact opposite. I have never seen such unmitigated arrogance as I did with Strzok. Not only did Strzok and Page show hatred and disdain for President Trump, they planned a coup against him. The DOJ withheld subpoenas for seven months commanding Page to testify. The corruption in the FBI and DOJ is staggering. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlatte, RVA, had to threaten Strzok with contempt proceedings because of his refusal to answer questions. Strzok claimed he was forbidden by the FBI counsel to answer the questions. I think there are significant differences between their testimony about important material facts, Ratcliffe said. I think she has been as forthcoming as she can. I think she is trying to respect the real privileges that exist from her former employer, and she is getting direction from FBI counsel about not answering certain things and she is trying to respect that. At the same time, I think she is trying to give us as much information as she's allowed to do, which I think is a distinction and difference from what we saw with Peter Strzok, Rep. Matt Geetz, RFL, and other Republicans said Page was more forthcoming during the first day, too. She originally failed to comply with a subpoena to show up a few days earlier. Her lawyer claimed they were not yet prepared. Strzok and Page drew the attention of the congressional investigation when their texts were revealed publicly in December of 2017. They had a long list of disparaging things to say about the president and even mentioned an insurance policy in the event Trump did win. They also mentioned a secret society. Strzok was eventually removed when his text messages came to light internally in August 2017 and Page left the bureau in May 2018. Strzok decided on which texts he would turn over and he has still not been fired or had his clearance revoked. From True Pundit The embattled page tossed James Comey, Andrew McCabe, Peter Strzok and Bill Priest Hap among others under the congressional bus, alleging the upper echelon of the FBI concealed intelligence confirming Chinese state-backed assets had illegally acquired former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's 30,000-plus missing emails, federal sources said. The Russians didn't do it. The Chinese did according to well-placed FBI sources. And while Democratic lawmakers and the mainstream media prop up Russia as America's boogeyman, it was the ironically Chinese who acquired Hillary's treasure trove of classified and top-secret intelligence from her homebrewed private server. And a public revelation of that magnitude, publicizing that a communist world power intercepted Hillary's sensitive and top-secret emails, would have derailed Hillary Clinton's presidential hopes. Overnight. But it didn't simply because it was concealed. The FBI has done everything they can to stall this investigation and to protect Hillary Clinton. It's a disgrace and people should go to prison for it. If I had my way, the entire agency would be gutted. Those who pass extreme vetting and background checks would be rehired and the rest would be replaced. Strzok failed a polygraph just recently and it did not affect him in the least at the FBI. That should not be allowed. It's a national security issue. Hillary Clinton has made a ton of money from our communist enemies such as the Chinese. The Russians too. And don't forget the Iranians who contributed heavily to her campaign as well. Clinton is a threat to our national security herself and we dodged a major bullet when she was not elected.
the damage she has done regardless with selling the Russians our uranium and helping both the Russians and Chinese steal our cyber technology and military secrets is staggering. But somehow, the FBI never cared enough to look into any of it. They were too busy with Barack Obama trying to take down President Trump before and after he came into office. We need to see the missing DNC server as it had tons of top-secret documents and even the president's daily travel and security itineraries on it. And we need to know who the foreign entity, not Russia, who intercepted Hillary's emails really was. Strzok and Page are both enemies of the state. She will flip to save her own hide and I can't wait to hear what she has on these people. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.